Hi there, I'm Ryan Alice, and I'm doing a video project on all that I've learned by 28. Now, I'm going to begin part three, which is about business and entrepreneurship. The first section of part three is on entrepreneurship. I'm going to begin by talking about the 10 steps to building your company to $1 million in sales, from startup to the first million dollars. The steps are to first know your role as an entrepreneur, to understand the entrepreneurial system, to know your motivation and what drives you and why you want to build a company, to build out your business plan, to incorporate, then to raise funding or to choose to bootstrap, to develop your product, execute your marketing plan, build your team, and then build scalable systems for the future. So in the slides ahead and in the time ahead, I'm going to be going through each of these sections one by one. First is to know the role of the entrepreneur. It is the entrepreneur who organizes and arranges the use of land, labor, and capital to create an output demanded by humans, hopefully an output for which the sum of the parts has greater value than the individual parts themselves. So how would you define an entrepreneur? Well, entrepreneurs are individuals who build organizations which arrange people, capital, and machines to produce and distribute goods which create value for humanity. So the four things entrepreneurs do, build organizations, arrange the resources of people, capital, and machines, produce and distribute goods, and create value for others. As McConnell and Bruce say in their textbook, Economics, both a spark plug and a catalyst, the entrepreneur is at once the driving force behind production and the agent who combines the other resources in what is hoped will be a profitable venture. The American Heritage Dictionary defines an entrepreneur as the person who organizes, operates, and assumes the risk for a business venture. Let's list some of the traits of an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who has initiative, who has a drive toward efficiency, who has a bias toward action. An entrepreneur has the ability to take feedback, has a high tolerance for stress, and is very determined. An entrepreneur also has decisiveness, courage, the ability to deal with failure. An entrepreneur is often someone who is quite creative, can learn quickly, and perseveres through nearly anything. An entrepreneur can delay gratification. The entrepreneur has a drive to achieve, and the abilities to plan, build a team, inspire and lead, and prioritize. Entrepreneurs are sometimes good CEOs and sometimes really bad CEOs. The important thing for you as an entrepreneur is to find out what you're good at and what you love to do and to do that. You don't have to be the CEO. In a startup, the role of a CEO is effectively the chief everything officer. A startup CEO role includes vision, strategy, product creation, financing, media relations, culture, leadership, recruiting a great team, running the operations of the company, and managing relations with the board of directors. Later on, the CEO's role shifts, particularly as that CEO gets an operational partner on board. At that point, their role is to set strategy and vision, recruit and lead the senior team, oversee budgets and capital allocation, communicate to their stakeholders, whether they be customers, employees, the community, the media, the board, investors, and to build a great culture. So your role as CEO is not to micromanage, but rather it's to hire people more experienced than you in their areas and to provide the guidance, the big picture, and the organizational structure for them to succeed. Great CEOs are usually pretty good at public speaking, connecting deeply and emotionally with their team and aligning what their company's mission is with the personal goals of the, each individual, sharing their passion, raising funding that is necessary to survive the early years and months, and understanding the needs of the market and the customer. Thanks for watching this section on the role of an entrepreneur.